everyone back with a new music update and uh, in this one I'm going to be showing you um, some music finds uh, that I got from this past month from the record store and um, what I basically have is uh, nine things um, eight of which are records the other is a CD so just gonna say what I need to say and uh, without further ado let's begin the video So the first record I'm going to show you is by the Jesus and Mary Chain. This is Psycho Candy. Classic album. Alternative rock, college rock, um, noise rock, noise pop, um, proto shoegaze. This was very influential to the uh, shoegaze genre that was forthcoming in the 1990s. I mean, it all basically started... Or, it all kind of started, you know, by the late 80s, but it became really uh, a genre by the 90s, you know, the scene that celebrated, celebrates itself. Um, it didn't last long, though. Um, I mean, it's still very much, you know, it's still around, but it basically started to dwindle by the time Britpop um, came about. But um, anyways, back to this. Um like I said, it's a classic record. Um, this features their biggest song, Just Like Honey. Um, it was heavily influenced by, you know, the Velvet Underground and uh, Phil Spector's Wall of Sound. You know, it's just a classic record that I've been wanting to get for, you know, many years, ever since I've been collecting records, you know, since the late 2000s, uh, to be more specific. So I'm really happy to have this record in my collection. Next up we have Blue Oyster Cult's uh, 1979 album, Mirrors. It's not considered to be their best album uh, in their discography, but it is, regardless, a solid record. And I mainly got this for The Vigil, just a fantastic track. You know, this saw the band kind of venture into more, you know, commercial territory. This was really the start of it all, I think, you know. And um, you can definitely see uh, by the time the 1980s began, you know, with Cultosaurus Erectus and uh, Fire of Unknown Origin, um, that they really started to kind of go into more of that commercial rock territory, but still sounding like a hard rock band, you know. For example, a song like Burning For You. But uh, yeah, again, this is a, it's a solid album. Really happy to have some more by them and hoping to get some more down the road by them. And then we have a couple by Peter Gabriel. The first is his uh, self-titled um, solo album from 1977, Peter Gabriel One, aka Car, from 1977, which features Salisbury Hill, some great artwork by Hypnosis. Really happy to have that. And then we have his 1982 album, Security, also known as Peter Gabriel 4. And this saw, uh, you know, Peter Gabriel continue to venture into more new wave territory, where, uh, which he had started um, with in um, 1970, uh, or 1980. Um, with Peter Gabriel 3, a.k.a. Melt. That technically was um, where he started to kind of venture into more new wave territory. And um, on this one, he started to kind of venture into more of like world music, world beat um, territory where um, he started to solidify those, or that type of music on his critically acclaimed album, So. So, um, this album features uh, his two uh, big hits, or rather, uh, big highlights. Uh, I Have the Touch and Shock the Monkey. And this is a 180 gram vinyl pressing. So really happy to have that. I'm just really happy to have um, his four albums alongside uh, his critically acclaimed albums. So, and then we have some more by King Crimson. This is Three of a Perfect Pair. Some great um, progressive rock right here from the 1980s. 
but it's not your average progressive rock you know by the 80s you know this is considered to be more so like i said before in a previous video post progressive you know it's uh it's definitely seeing um progressive rock you know going beyond traditional the traditional uh form and uh being more adventurous so you know you're getting um you know the early an early example of or the the influence of what would become math rock on this um you have um you know some industrial vibes going for it uh you have um of course new wave it's also very much a um I don't know what else you can say about this record. It's experimental. Um, you know, I basically, I think I've basically summed it all up right here. This is a great album. You know, um, this was the third album to feature uh, the line that primarily consisted of um, Adrian Ballou on vocals and guitars, Robert Fripp on guitar, Tony Levin on bass, Chapman Stick, synth, and background vocals, and Bill Bruford on acoustic and electric drums. Just a fantastic record. Really, really happy to have this record in my collection. And then um, we have Tommy Keen. This is his 1986 AP run now. Really good power pop alternative, you know, college rock music. Six songs uh, produced by T-Bone Burnett and Don Dixon with additional credits uh, to uh, Bob Clear Mountain. And um, you got the songs Run Now, Away From It All, I Don't Feel Right At All, which is a great track. Um, Back Again, another great track. Uh, They're In Your Own World. And uh, he does a great cover of uh, Lou Reed's Kill Your Sons. It's the live version. The uh, studio version was on his uh, um, LP that he had released at the time. And um, yeah, just a little bit about the producers, T-Bone Burnett. I had heard... Um, I had been familiar with by name, but I had never heard anything of his except for on a track that was on uh, the Golden Palominos he had guest starred on. Um, he did this song called um, Strong Simple Silences off uh, their album that was released around this time, uh, 35 years ago, called Blast of Silence. And um, that sparked some interest. You know, it really did. And I, I was really interested in wanting to get into his music. So I still haven't come across anything of his, but I'm definitely looking into it. And um, then you have Don Dixon, of course, uh, famous for producing R.E.M. and uh, The Smithereens. He's also a musician himself. And then Bob Claremountain, you know, I think he was famous for producing Brian Adams, uh, I believe. So correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I believe he was famous for, for producing um, Brian Adams. So yeah, uh, the late Tommy Keen, you know, some really good music that he put out and I'm definitely looking into getting some more by him and down the road. And a couple more records here. We got Camel, I Can See Your House From Here from 1979. It's a very good album. It's more condensed progressive rock, you know. It's also a little bit more like jazz fusion at the same time. This was produced by Rupert Hine, who was famous for producing not only Camel, but uh, he had produced The Fix, he had produced Rush, he had produced uh, Howard Jones, um, amongst others. And uh, yeah, this made, this uh, marked another major lineup change in um, the band. So uh, you had two new keyboardists, um, Jan Schellhaas, who had, uh, I believe was in another progressive rock band called um, Happy the Man, and then Kit Watkins. Colin Bass was the new bass player, and uh, the only original members from the beginning, you know, day one, were um, Andrew Latimer on uh, guitar and vocals, and Andy Ward on drums. So, definitely happy to have some more by Camel, you know, just a very underrated progressive rock band. They're considered to be the unsung heroes of progressive rock. And uh, this one I'm really happy to have. Another copy of Rush 2112. This is an upgrade copy. You know, my other copy that I got many years back, you know, it's got a lot of surface noise and it's got a scratch on uh, side two. 
and it's uh, it's just it's not worth playing because of that. You know, I, I I had played it you know a few times, but there's no point in playing it any further. Here's the gatefold. Classic album. You know, this was the album that basically saved Rush. You know, from basically just kind of calling it a day. And um, this record does have a scratch on it, but um, it doesn't affect play, thankfully. As you can, you can see in the light. I don't know if you can see in the light that there's a scratch right there. So, yeah, um, it's on Anthem. So, yeah, um, just really happy to have a playable copy of this classic record. You know, classic progressive rock album. by my all-time favorite band. And then finally we have a CD that basically I found um, just as I entered the record store. And um, when I stumbled upon it, I was ecstatic because, you know, I didn't think I would ever come across anything from this band uh, that soon. Um, it's a band that I had discovered um, last summer and um they're such a criminally underrated band you know that i highly recommend you check this band out because they are just that good and this is king's x faithful bluff from 1990 this is an album that is just so packed with incredible music you know it's hard rock it's heavy metal it's progressive metal you know and the lyrics are just brilliant you know just brimming with um i don't know how you can describe it like it's it's just full of um it's chock full of brilliant um you know uplifting lyrics i think that's basically the best way i can describe it um you know we are finding who we are it's love just fantastic track um, I'll Never Get Tired of You, Fine Art of Friendship, Mr. Wilson, Moan Jam, Six Broken Soldiers, I Can't Help It, Talk to You, uh, Everywhere I Go, We Were Born to Be Loved, Faith, Hope, Love, and Legal Kill. Just fantastic music right here. And again, criminally underrated bands that I highly recommend you check out if you haven't. You know, just fantastic music by this band that I'm really hoping to get some more, you know, in the future by them. So uh, that pretty much does it for my uh, March final finds, or music finds, uh, rather. Um, and um, I probably won't be back uh, with anything too soon, um, or I won't be back with anything uh, for the month of April, I don't think. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, I probably will be back next month with some new things. We'll see what happens. So just uh, stay tuned um, for that. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. So uh, before I go, I just want to say I hope everybody is, you know, staying healthy, staying safe, still following the guidelines, and um, hope most of you have gotten your vaccines. You know, I'm still waiting for mine. And uh, yeah, so uh, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.